Have you ever experienced your car's engine revving up and down erratically while idling? That jerking and shaking feeling can be unnerving, especially if your check engine light is on too. What's causing those RPM fluctuations at idle? In this video, I'll expose the six main culprits behind an idling engine's unstable revs. From vacuum leaks to sensor issues, clogged air filters to bad batteries, I'll show how to diagnose each potential cause. The main reason for RPM fluctuation at idle is the imbalance in the air fuel mixture. Ideally, your engine needs a 14.7 air fuel mixture for efficient combustion. At this ratio, there is exactly enough oxygen in the air to completely burn all the fuel. This efficient combustion generates the optimal amount of heat and pressure within the engine cylinders. The pressure is responsible for pushing the pistons down with right force and producing consistent power with smooth RPMs. Before proceeding further, use OBD2 scanner to check for engine trouble codes stored in ECU's memory. This can readily pinpoint the root cause of RPM fluctuation. Also, sometimes the ECU needs to be recalibrated after fixing the issue. To reset the ECU, you'll typically need to disconnect the battery for a few minutes, which will clear the computer's memory. Now, let's discuss potential causes in detail. Number one, vacuum leaks. If air gets into the engine without being measured by MAF sensor, it is termed as vacuum leak. Your engine relies on a precise balance of air and fuel to run smoothly. ECU adjusts the amount of fuel based on air entering the engine. If air enters the engine without being detected, ECU can't determine correct amount of fuel to be injected. The imbalanced air fuel ratio results in inefficient combustion. This can cause the RPMs to go haywire. Vacuum leaks are caused by cracked or loose vacuum hoses, a faulty PCV valve, or even leaks in the intake manifold or throttle body gaskets. To test vacuum leaks, you can spray brake cleaner on the engine bay and observe if its RPM changes. You can also use aerosol smoke to create a visible stream and identify leaks. Number two, idle air control valve issues. This valve bypasses air through a closed throttle body when engine is idling or vehicle is stopped at a stop light. Idle air control valve can get clogged with oil and carbon deposits. It can either get stuck closed or stuck open. If IACV is stuck open, excessive air will enter the engine which will disturb air fuel ratio and cause RPM fluctuations at idle. To test idle air control valve, unplug its harness connector and observe if the engine RPM drops significantly. If there's no change in idle speed, it means valve is clogged. Number three, throttle body issues. Throttle body has a butterfly valve that opens or closes in response to push you give to gas pedal. The position of butterfly valves affects how much air is entering the engine. At idle, when you completely release the gas pedal, throttle valve is almost closed. But if throttle body is clogged with sticky carbon deposits, throttle valve may experience slight bind as it opens or closes. This binding can result in the throttle valve remaining more open than intended, disrupting the optimal air fuel ratio and leading to undesired fluctuations in RPM at idle. To access throttle body, you'll need to remove the air intake duct. You can try cleaning throttle body by using an old toothbrush, sturdy blue paper towel, and brake cleaner to remove any gunk or grime. One user reported an issue with their 2018 GMC Sierra Denali experiencing RPM fluctuations while idling or stopped in gear. He cleaned throttle body with AC Delco foam and issue was resolved. Number four, engine sensor issues. Engine has different sensors like mass airflow sensor, oxygen sensor, throttle position sensor, and engine coolant temperature sensor, which send signals to the ECU. From these signals, ECU determines spark timing and actual fuel that needs to be injected. Oxygen sensor monitors the oxygen and exhaust gases and provides feedback to the engine's computer, allowing it to fine tune the air fuel mixture. If an O2 sensor malfunctions, it can cause the engine to run lean or rich, resulting in erratic RPM behavior. Similarly, MAF sensor monitors air entering the engine. If it measures incorrect amount of air, engine's computer will not be able to determine correct amount of fuel to inject. An engine coolant temperature sensor monitors the engine's coolant temperature and relays that information to the computer. When engine is cold, ECU injects more fuel and creates rich air fuel mixture so that engine rapidly reaches its operating temperature. A malfunctioning ECT sensor will send incorrect readings about engine's temperature which can mess up with amount of fuel calculated by ECU for fuel injection. Throttle position sensor measures actual position of throttle body. If malfunctions, ECU may misinterpret that throttle valve is open wider and more air is entering. As a result, it will inject more than required fuel. But in actual, throttle valve is almost closed at idle and less fuel needs to be injected. This imbalances air fuel ratio, leading to RPM fluctuation. To test MAF sensor, use a multimeter and see if output voltage increases from 1 volt to 1.7 volts when you increase engine's RPM. You can try cleaning the MAF sensor using a brake cleaner. 
To test a bad oxygen sensor, you should see if its output voltage goes outside the range of 0.1 to 0.9 volts. To test a malfunctioning throttle position sensor, its voltage should change smoothly as you open and close the throttle by pressing or releasing the gas pedal. At the end, you should check for corrosion signs on harness connector or loose connections for all those sensors. Number 5. Dirty Engine Air Filter A restricted engine air filter can also cause RPM fluctuations by limiting the amount of air entering the engine. At idle, there is already less air entering the engine. If an air filter is clogged, it will further resist air to get into the engine. Number 6. Bad Battery or Alternator The alternator converts engine's mechanical energy into electrical energy functioning as a generator driven by the crankshaft through a serpentine belt. As engine's RPM increases, the alternator speed also increases to generate sufficient voltage to charge the battery. If alternator is stuck or not turning freely, it may not produce sufficient voltage at idle. As a result, your battery will lack sufficient voltage to power the ECU. Sensors use battery voltage to send signals. If battery doesn't get charged enough, the sensors won't work properly. To properly test the alternator, Start the engine, and the battery terminals show a voltage of approximately 13.5 volts. Anything below 12.7 volts may indicate a faulty alternator. To inspect a potentially seized alternator, remove the serpentine belt from the alternator pulley, and attempt to manually rotate the pulley in both directions if it remains immobile, the alternator is likely seized. If the alternator is rotating, you can measure the voltage at its B terminal, which should range from 12 to 14.5 volts as it is directly connected to the battery. Additionally, inspect the wire connecting the B terminal of the alternator to the positive terminal of the battery, ensuring it is in good condition, as any breaks can disrupt the current supply to the battery. Please comment down below if you have any questions related to RPM fluctuation at idle. Be sure to subscribe our channel for more auto repair tips. Thanks for watching.